Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing well and keeping safe. So first of all, if you're new to my channel, hello, my name is Sophie. I make tons of videos on handbags, um, fashion, fitness, and then a few vlogs here and there. I've done a couple more of these handbag review type videos and you guys seem to really like them. Um, so if you're new, I did a Louis Vuitton Neverfull and um, a Mulberry Lily review. So I thought it was only fair to do another one for um, my YSL Sunset bag. So if you want to see more of these luxury item handbag videos, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of the videos that I upload. So without further ado, let's get on with the review. <laughs> of my handbags have a story it's just it's just a given so I feel like I need to share the story I don't actually know when I'm going to post it but it's about a year um ago since I purchased my YSL sunset bag I keep saying bag it's not actually technically it's not a bag it's a wallet on a chain so um if I say bag I mean wallet on a chain <laughs> but so I got it in August and basically the whole story behind it was me and my boyfriend were supposed to be going to Vista Village for my um, 19th, it was my 19th, for my 19th birthday, but then my birthday's in March, so, and that's when COVID happened. So we cancelled it before we actually went, officially went into lockdown number one. Um, shops were closing before um, they announced we were in lockdown. So, um, I'm going to sneeze. I'm not going to sneeze, apparently. Oh, God. Um, why do I keep feeling like I'm going to sneeze? We were going to go to Vista Village on the 21st of March. Um, and my birthday was on the 22nd. The 23rd, we then went into a lockdown, but we decided not to go anyway. So we rescheduled it for August because it was our anniversary. Um, so my boyfriend was like, fine, we'll go on a shopping weekend. Um, <laughs> that is love. Uh, so we decided to go to Vista Village. And I was actually going looking for one bag in particular, which was the Chloe Drew bag. And oh my goodness, if you don't know what bag I mean, I will insert a picture. It is absolutely beautiful. And even now, um, I still like part of me really does want that bag. But I do have a pink bag with gold hardware, which is extremely similar. It's just like my Mulberry is like a more square rectangular bag, whereas the um, Chloe Drew is more like rounded um, but yeah I was looking for that bag and I did actually find that bag however it was in a baby blue if I've still got the videos I'll include the videos of all the clips um but um yeah I really did like it but it just wasn't I don't know I feel like because I don't really wear a lot of blue well no I feel like I'm starting to wear a lot more blue now than I did um a year ago um but I don't know I just was unsure because it wouldn't really match I, I'm a bit more of like a pink person so like a pink bag for me is just everything so I just wasn't sure on the colour um so I tried that on went away to think about it I went into Valentino and I saw um I can't remember what bag I can't remember what bag it's actually called um but it was something rock stud. I can't remember what it's called. God, I call myself a luxury fan and I don't even know what it's called. Um, again, I'm gonna, I might put up the videos if I still have them. It was like a similar shape to this, but like it had, um, it had the classic rock studs like all over the bag. And then it had a black leather strap with the rock studs on it again. And then it had like a clasp that you flip up and then open the bag. But yeah, so I tried that one on. Um, I really liked that, but um, my boyfriend did put me off slightly. And he was like, oh, I'm, I really don't, don't like that one. As well, that one was um, a little bit more than I intended to pay. Then I went into Balenciaga, saw the classic Balenciaga bag that says Balenciaga on it really liked that one that was in hot pink and that was like a really hot trend 
um last year and I still think it I still think it is around but like I don't know I feel like this year you don't really see that many bags with like big bold branding on them and like I said to my boyfriend I was like oh I really do like it because it's a trend and um like I feel like I could wear it with like a full black outfit and it looked really edgy and really cool um but I feel like it just isn't really me like the bags that I have I don't really like having like big bold words I feel like I like more of the classic bags with less detail on it or like uh, just a plain um a plain logo like the Mulberry bag has no logos on it at all um, apart from like the little tree which again you can hardly see it's just a plain bag that's kind of how I like my bags um, I feel like they look more classic that way it's only really the Louis Vuitton one that actually has like a pattern that's like noticeable and you'll be like oh like you could spot it from a mile away um, but yeah so saw that one wasn't sure but that one was 500 pounds in the door so that one was quite cheap so um, obviously not cheap but like it was cheaper than um all the other bags that i'd looked at so that was like a big factor in it then we finally went into ysl and the queue oh my god like my boyfriend was literally going mad because the queues were this was when the qr code had first like they were testing them out to see if they actually worked and the queues took forever he was going insane we tried to get into gucci like so many times and um, we did get in on the last day by the way but like it literally took us all day and he was literally going mad especially when I did not buy anything he was like oh my god we've literally waited for this long um, if any of you have boyfriends that don't like shopping you'll be able to relate it's a pain why do I always like ramble so much in these videos so we went to East Saint Laurent and I saw this bag and I literally I have seen this bag on Pinterest wallet on a chain I've seen but I've seen the bag version on Pinterest so many times I've saved it so many of my outfit inspiration boards um just by chance that they have that bag and I've always loved it and like on the actual bigger version it has the um I don't know what you call it like luggage tag type thing um on the side and yeah I just absolutely loved it and I saw this one and the only issue was could it fit my phone in and I got it out of the um, cabinet and tried it on. I absolutely fell in love with it. I just thought the silver hardware, I'm a big silver hardware person. Um, I feel like gold hardware suits me more in summer where I have a tan. Yes, and I was wanting a dark colored bag because my Mulberry is pink and my Louis Vuitton bag has like the pink um, leather edging and the pink interior. And it's like, it's the Demir Azure don't know if I'm saying that right but it's the Demir Azor pattern on the outside so it's like the um creamy gray type pattern quite quite pale bag so I did want like a darker uh, a darker color bag so this one was perfect um so I tried it on and then moment of truth I tried to put my phone in and it fit I was literally right if this isn't a sign to get this bag I don't know what is so I paid 750 pounds for this bag I am so, so over the moon that I actually decided to go for this bag. So it was, um, again, I had to like walk out of the shop and have a think about it because I'm a big processor, whereas my boyfriend's more like a get it and go type person. Um, so when we left the store without buying it, he was literally like, we're going to be back here in like an hour. You may as well have just bought it now because um, <laughs> he knew I was going to get it. But I just needed to like walk away have some time to think and process and like actually mentally prepare myself to spend the money um it's all right for him when he's not buying it if he wants to buy it me there and then he could have done so but yeah so i had to process walk away have a look at the other bags and then i decided like this is more me this is more classic so i went back purchased it and yes I've I honestly I look back at like the Balenciaga bag for example and I just think can you imagine if I would have bought that I would have I actually think I would have regretted it whereas I am not a person that regrets things because I think you live and you learn but I, I genuinely feel like I would have regretted buying that bag if I had 
but yes so really really obsessed with it i love how the chain is just super heavy and it, it just it's just really really good quality and um i feel like out of all my bags even my louis vuitton i feel like this bag is the best quality and after after a year it still smells like brand new leather which is crazy to me because i actually use it a lot um so i i've also spilled hot chocolate on this bag oh my god i actually wanted to cry it was so funny because i was literally talking to my friend and I was like, oh my God, if I spill anything on my bags, I would absolutely be devastated. That day I was meeting her for a walk and we had a hot chocolate, spilt the bloody hot chocolate all over the bag. So I actually think I still have like hot chocolate residue like under the Y. <laughs> I'm laughing, but inside I'm crying. <laughs> um, but yes, so this is the beautiful bag. Um, you can alter the chain and wear it over the shoulder like that my other two bags that i have are very flimsy and um i don't know i wouldn't really say they are um hard wearing whereas this one because it's so structured i feel like i can kind of flung it anywhere and it'll be fine um but yeah as you can see the leather has not aged at all and i've had it a year and i have genuinely used it so much over lockdown especially um like i know it seems really extra but when i was just going on walks in the countryside i would just wear this bag because it just fit my phone in it just fit my cards in and it's so funny because that was the reason why i was so hesitant to buy it was because it's so small but it's actually the reason that i'm so happy that i have this bag is because it's so small it literally is such a grab and go beautiful easy going bag i also feel like it it makes a really cute clutch bag as well um for the evenings so i am absolutely over the moon with this bag because i got the bag at vista village it did not come with a um like carrier bag it came with um it came with a carrier bag without a logo on so it was just a plain a plain bag i actually heard that some shops that don't give you logoed carrier bags because it cheapens the brand because it's all on sale like all of the stuff is old stock that they're selling off for cheaper so yeah so it was a little bit annoying that i didn't get a ysl bag but i did get obviously the dust bag which is so cute and obviously with traveling um it helps a lot because i don't want to get it marked or scuffed um so i use this all the time and like i said in all my previous videos i sit all my bags on my dust bags so that nothing can get on the bottom um but with this one i don't actually need to fill it with bubble wrap or anything like that because it is a structured bag that will not lose its shape so normally i would definitely be carrying my keys so my keys and then sometimes maybe a lip liner and a lip gloss and then obviously my cards are in the card holder it also has a zip pocket as you can see here which i don't really pay with cash i don't know if anyone else does really nowadays especially over times now that no one really accepts cash anyway um but it does have a coin zipped compartment and um it has a compartment just under here where it says Saint Laurent it has a little note um section so you can put your notes in and then at the front it does also have quite a roomy pocket so this is where I do tend to put my keys and then also it has a pocket at the back which isn't very spacious so i don't i'm not gonna lie to you guys i've never i don't think i've ever used that pocket <laughs> um but i mean you could if you wanted to um but yeah so it has quite a lot of compartments which are useful and um yeah i i keep saying it is a bag but it is technically a wallet on a chain because of how small it is but um it's just absolutely perfect and I could not be happier with it. Okay, so um, yeah, so this one, this card here, this tells you what year it was made and um, the authenticity number. So this one says 2018 YSL mini bag sunset. Okay, so that's thrown me a little bit because I thought it was a wallet on a chain, but this says mini bag. Maybe it's a bag. 
I'm not sure now. <laughs> I guess it is. Um, so 2018, it was made. Yeah, mini bag. Now we know. Um, so this is a mini bag. <laughs> everything for this video. I hope you found it useful and maybe cleared up some things if you're thinking about getting this bag. Um, if you enjoyed it, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any other videos that I upload. Um, but I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.